In the nation's widespread agricultural activities, motor trucks are taking a more important part each year, as evidenced by the increase on North American farms from 100,000 to over 1 million trucks in the last 15 years. This is exclusive of hundreds of thousands of trucks owned by commercial haulers that also carry agricultural products. With a premium on quality, speedy and safe transportation is important in getting perishable products such as fruits, vegetables, milk and so forth to market in A1 condition. Whether for regular hauling work about the farm or long distance transportation, motor trucks save time and do the jobs at low cost. That such transportation is important has long been recognized by citrus growers. Grapefruit quality is improved by tree ripening and when the crop is ready to harvest, there is no time to lose. The fruit is carefully picked and placed in field crates, loaded onto easy riding trucks and started on a safe trip to the warehouse. These dependable smooth running trucks deliver their heavy loads to the packing place where the grapefruit is carefully sorted, graded and packed ready for market. Farmers and fruit growers use millions of tons of commercial fertilizer, a large part of which is trucked from the manufacturing plant or railroad. Carrying a heavy load, the truck and trailer save money in getting large quantities of fertilizer to orchard or field. Orange growers also rely on motor trucks to haul their fruit from the grove to packing plants. International trucks are designed and built to provide steady, dependable power in any speed and over every kind of traveling condition. After oranges are picked, they must be transported to the packing sheds where they are carefully sorted, graded and packed ready for shipment. From packing sheds, Huge transport trucks, many of them refrigerated, operate day and night, hauling these perishable fruits to consuming centers. This method of transportation not only requires much less handling, but saves time and expense in getting better quality fruit to the consumer. When peppers are ready to harvest, they need to be handled rapidly in order to reach the market in good condition. Frequent picking is necessary to get the peppers when they have reached the proper size and stage of maturity. The field hampers are lined up along the roadway to hasten loading onto this half-ton truck as it's driven through the field to pick up the crop. Since peppers are light in weight and a small tonnage is involved, a light, easily operated truck is the economical unit for hauling from the field. These boys are experts at handling watermelons and keep almost a steady stream of ripe melons going until the truck is loaded. Then, away to the shipping point as it is imperative that watermelons reach the consumer as soon as possible after harvest. Melons bruise and crack easily and must be handled carefully to prevent damage. With its heavy load of such perishable produce, the smooth powered easy riding international pulls over the rough ground in the field and out onto the highway with a minimum of shaking and jarring. At the freight car, another crew of melon tossers unloads the melons and packs them in the car ready for shipment. Growers cooperative associations are gaining leadership in present day merchandising. These groups usually have a nationally advertised trade name which implies and guarantees fresh select products. Strict culling, grading and proper crating with timely and efficient handling by truck all blend to put a better and more dependable product on the market. The honeydew melon is a crop that has rapidly established itself on the American market. They are grown over rather limited areas, in most cases long distances from the large consuming centers. To be sure of having only quality melons reach the market, they are vine ripened as long as possible before being picked and rushed from the field to packing shed by motor truck. When the loaded truck pulls up to the warehouse, the melons are unloaded onto the grader to start the trip that will include careful packing and shipping. Many honeydews are hauled from warehouses in large refrigerated trucks. Celery must be crisp and of good quality to meet with favor. Producing and marketing this crop is no small job. Growing high-grade celery is a specialized business, and when it's ready to harvest, no time is lost. As the bunches are taken from the ground, they are placed in field crates, which are loaded onto trucks for a quick trip to the wash house. These dependable international trucks, with their steady, even power, get underway quickly, pulling out of the field onto the road. The quicker the crop can be moved from the field, washed, carefully graded and packed, the sooner it will be on its way to the consumer. From the standpoint of time saving, convenience and economy, no other hauling methods equal the motor truck for such fast work in handling a crop. About three-fifths of the total tonnage of fruits, vegetables and other farm products are hauled from the farm by trucks. Pulling and bunching is the first operation in getting the carrot crop started on its way to market. Crates are stacked on the truck as fast as they're filled, then rush to the shed for final sorting and packing before going to market. The motor truck is a time and money saver of great convenience. And when produce is hauled to market by truck, 
the loss from spoilage is reduced to a minimum. A good yield of potatoes means a heavy tonnage to be moved from the fields. Trucks that have ability to handle full loads over loose rough ground without loss of time or undue jarring are necessary to haul the crop out of the field. While potatoes are not considered quickly perishable, they are damaged by careless handling. Once over the rough going in the field and onto the highway, where faster speed is possible, trucks hasten the trip to the grading plant. As soon as a load arrives at the platform, the potatoes are emptied from the sacks onto the elevator, which conveys them to the graders, where they are sorted and separated according to size before being sacked for market. In the flax fields of the west, the track tractor and harvester thresher cut, thresh and clean a heavy crop in one operation. The continuous stream of clean flax seed quickly fills the sacks, which are then sowed by expert stitchers. With no let up in the flow of threshed seed, it's a busy job to remove the filled bags, put on empties and keep up the sowing. Sewed sacks are placed on the chute to be dropped off in groups of four or five. The final job of getting the flax crop from the field is given to a rugged international truck. Strong armed men toss on the sacks and as soon as the truck is loaded, off it goes to the elevator while the combine goes on cutting and threshing. Motor trucks also add to the economy of crop harvesting by taking the threshed seed direct from the combine tank. Very little time is required to empty the contents of the tank and much less hand labor is involved than when handling sacked grain. This soybean grower is using the most efficient methods of harvesting and hauling the crop. As the harvester thresher goes to work, the truckload of beans leaves the field. If the haul is not too long, the truck will be back by the time the combine tank is filled again. Harvesting the millions of acres of wheat every year is a big job, but the modern combine has done much to reduce the work and speed up operations. A pull on the lever and out comes the load onto the truck grain box. For long hauls, trucks are indispensable for economical and quick handling of the crop. These up-to-date methods of harvesting and hauling help reduce wheat production costs. In the south, fast-moving motor trucks are replacing slow, plodding mules for hauling seed cotton to the gym and transporting bales over the highway. This international pickup is just the truck for light hauling jobs about the farm and to and from town. Milk, poultry products and other farm produce can be hauled to town or shipping point and feed, fertilizer and supplies brought back. 98% of all the milk used leaves the farm by motor truck. Light farm trucks haul much of it to central points from which large capacity trucks take it to the consuming centers. When the shocks are hauled to the threshing outfit and a continuous line of bundles fed into the machine, a steady stream of clean, threshed grain is delivered to the large capacity grain box. The steady powered truck loses no time in getting the load to the granary. Straw, a byproduct of the grain crop, is easy to handle and store when baled. If not needed for use on the farm, it usually brings a fair price on the market, adding to the farm income. Another chance for the motor truck to prove its value as a servant to the farmer. Nearly all of the livestock marketed leaves the farms by truck. Over one half, or 30 million head, is trucked direct to the market. There's an international truck to meet every livestock hauling need, whether cattle, horses, or small animals such as hogs and sheep. Special bodies are available for moving show stock and race horses. When loaded, animals ride comfortably without danger of injury. Last year, almost 10 million head of hogs were hauled by truck to the 17 leading livestock markets of the country. These big semi-trailers are delivering full loads of fat hogs direct from the farms to the stockyards. By this method, handling of the animals is reduced to a minimum, resulting in less shrinkage and danger of injury, besides the saving in time and expense. There are 48,500 communities without railroads in the United States that depend on motor transport service. Shelling the millions of bushels of America's corn crop and hauling it from the farms is a big job. With an up-to-date McCormick Deering cylinder sheller and a motor truck with a large capacity grain box, corn growers need not worry about shelling and getting the corn to market. The biggest service charge the American farmer has is transportation. It costs about one billion dollars a year to transport farm products to consumers. When the thermometer is 30 below, the motor truck still serves the farmer by hauling pulp and cordwood, in addition to regular farm jobs. 
Over 30% of the trucks in use today are on farms doing their share to cut expenses and increase profits.